So let me begin. Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and today I'm gonna show you how to record video with multiple camera angles on a budget. It's quite cheap and it will save you time. So instead of having one camera and constantly readjust it to different angles, you can use this to set up a multi-camera system. However, this can get quite expensive. So for example, I have this Canon 7D Mark II camera, which is my main camera for the highest quality image that at least that I own currently. And of course, I got a bunch of other cameras that record multiple angles like this one and this one. And of course I do the clap because I have one audio recorder and it will record the sound for all three cameras. All of the cameras will record some kind of sound, but most likely they're not any good. And of course the mic that I have here attached from Comica will record all the audio. So when I say cheap, what do I mean by cheap? So what I have here is a Sony camcorder. This is an HD model, not 4K, so that's why I said in the budget is you can get those fairly cheaper right now, not huge expensive. If you wanna go even cheaper, you can get a this point and shoot camera from Sony or Canon. Just make sure it records full high definition. Some of them don't, uh, but this is quite budget. You can get a used one for roughly around 40, 50 bucks. And they work magically, honestly. You sing the video later on and you're all set. So, I mean, with the multiple cameras like those, you can really save a lot of money. I mean, all th those three cameras costed me about um, 300 bucks versus Canon 7D Mark II, which was uh, two and a half grand when it first came out, and that's what I paid. And of course, one thing you would want to also get is a bunch of grips or tripods. So in this case right here, I have a Joby tripod, which is really handy because I can hang it on somewhere on the light bulb or anywhere I want it. So just so I can get the angle. This camcorder, for example, is mounted on this nice grip, which is, has multiple uh, things you can connect to it. So and has this really big post. So you can connect it to any pipe, a tripod or uh, anything really that that you can grip on to and has a bunch of holes here for umbrella soft boxes and of course mount if you, if you have on the camera all you gotta do is get a couple adapters so this is quite handy and if you're interested in this one I'll have it in the description um, I forget how much I paid for this but those are not as cheap however they're high quality and they will last you forever the Joby of course depends on which one you get for what kind of camera you're gonna get um, I have the cheapest one here. This is not for my Canon uh, 7D. It will not support the weight. Uh, but if you have two cameras, I would suggest just getting uh, the bigger version. So all I gotta do is set up multiple cameras, different angle, sync the audio with my clap, and I have a multi-angle camera view that I can record the video on. And it's quite cheap. This way it saves me time so I don't have to readjust my main camera to different angles just so I can get the perfect shot. So this is the budget way to do it. Ideally, you'd want to get a camcorder. However, they are more expensive, but they have some nice benefits versus a point-and-shoot camera. Point-and-shoot cameras are great. Don't get me wrong. They have a lot of features and they're very small, compact and easy to carry. You can take them anywhere. Uh, one thing is usually, even though you can buy a power adapter for those, so you can get a continuous power. Um, the reason I prefer the camcorder is one, it has the flip up screen. So that way you can really see if you are in a frame. And also there's a power adapter that usually comes with a camera that you can connect directly to the power and have a continuous power, which is big deal. Because uh, I mean, a lot of times you shoot for hours. If you do choose to go with a point of shoot cameras, try to use the same brands. That way you can use the same batteries and try to stick with the high definition cameras, you know, 1080p, don't go with a uh, 720, uh, just because uh, you're not getting a lot of quality and sometimes the picture can be out of frame and with a um, half depth, there's not much cropping that you can do versus if you at least have a full high definition video, you can crop it without losing too much of the quality. So, I mean, my ideal situation here is that I have two camcorders and I got two point and shoot cameras and if you want to go even cheaper, you can just use your phone. You have your main camera for high ass quality, or perhaps using your phone, you can use this option instead of buying a SLR. But let's say you don't have a high quality camcorder, 
and you're shooting on your phone. So this is quite cheaper option versus spending a grand on a really good phone. Or like I have a DSLR that's sitting right there and pointing at it you right now. I have those options and if I really want to have uh, a lot of playroom with my tables, I would shoot on my phone which records 4K and this way uh, I don't need to have a video in 4K, however it gives me a lot of room to crop the image without losing quality. So the only thing you have to keep in mind is to try to keep with the same brand if possible. If you have a camcorders, try to keep the same brand that way. Perhaps you can uh, reuse the batteries or recharge the batteries just in case you, if you don't have the access to power. And also if you're using uh, point and shoot cameras, make sure that you get some tripods and that all of the devices that you're using use a similar memory card. That way you don't have to buy a bunch of different ones. You can have couple that you can use across all cameras. And just in case for some reason you lose audio on your main camera or your main audio recorder, you might be able to recover the video by simply grabbing the audio from one of the other cameras. Hopefully they'll pick up some good audio. If not, you know, unfortunately there's not much you can do. So this is my setup and it's been working really well. This way my main camera is always set up in one angle and I have the, the two cameras set up here or even above to shoot from, down, from the bottom. And this way it saves me time and makes the video more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you click like, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this.